What is the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics? We can divide economics into two parts, microeconomics focuses on the actions of individual agents within the economy, like households, workers, and businesses. Macroeconomics looks at the economy as a whole. It focuses on broad issues such as growth of production, the number of unemployed people, the inflationary increase in prices, government deficits, and levels of exports and imports. Microeconomics, what determines how households and individuals spend their budgets? What combination of goods and services will best fit their needs and wants, given the budget they have to spend? How do people decide whether to work, and if so, whether to work full-time or part-time? How do people decide how much to save for the future, or whether they should borrow to spend beyond their current means? Microeconomics is about the theory of consumer behavior, the theory of the firm, how markets for labor and other resources work, and how markets sometimes fail to work properly. Macroeconomics, what determines the level of economic activity in a society? In other words, what determines how many goods and services a nation actually produces? What determines how many jobs are available in an economy? What determines a nation's standard of living? What causes the economy to speed up or slow down? What causes firms to hire more workers or to lay them off? Finally, what causes the economy to grow over the long term? Macroeconomics is the branch of economics concerned with large-scale or general economic factors, such as interest rates and national productivity. In economics, the micro decisions of individual businesses are influenced by whether the macro economy is healthy. For example, firms will be more likely to hire workers if the overall economy is growing. In turn, macro economy's performance ultimately depends on the microeconomic decisions that individual households and businesses make.